Hi, I'm Ryan Crosby, Senior Education and Technology Specialist here at Ride Designs. I'm going to talk to you about creating a relief for, say, a bony prominence that uh, didn't quite get enough relief in the actual shape. You want to create a little bit more. Uh, this is specific to our Ride Custom Back 200, the new printed back. So first, they'll have a, a shower cap cover. We're going to want to take that off. Just peel that right off. Um, you'll be left with either this with the AccuSoft foam or the 3D mesh liner as well. So we're going to show you this on the uh, AccuSoft liner. First thing I would do if you had the AccuSoft foam is let's say it's a scapula that we're trying to relieve. We've got a, a scap that's a problem. I'm going to create a sort of a tic-tac-toe board with about three inch, uh, three quarter inch uh, squares. Something like that. And then take your uh, utility knife, should be pretty sharp, and you want to cut right along those lines. And that creates, that breaks the surface tension of the foam. And actually naturally creates sort of a soft spot in this material. If it's just a minor pressure, I mean this would probably be a good uh, relief for your client because it creates that nice little soft spot right there in that area compared to uh, over here. If that wasn't enough, uh, then the next modification you'll have to do is to actually heat the shell and push that, uh, push a relief out in the shell. So in order to do that, I'm going to cut away this, this tape. I'm just going to cut right along the perimeter here. This is just black masking tape. And this material, similar to our old Brock liner, might be glued down pretty well and you might have to cut, cut along the foam as you peel it back. This one's actually peeling pretty good, except for right there. And cut that away. There we go. Okay, get that nice and out of the way. You don't want to heat the foam. This uh, will melt if you try to heat it. Get yourself a nice long piece of masking tape and tape that back out of the way. Maybe a little bit more. Just so I don't have to worry about it too much. Actually, you want to go a little bit more. There we go. So, I'm looking at heating right here. Let's say hey, it's for the left scap. Just kind of defined my area right there. And this residual glue that's left over, it's okay to heat over that. Get your safety glasses on. And you're going to heat quite a bit in that area. And it's all going to be heated on the outside. After you've marked on the inside here where you want that relief to be, you're going to take and heat almost always on the outside. I'm going to occasionally heat on the inside just to help pull the heat through, but I don't want this side to get really gummy or, or melted because I'm going to take a hammer handle or a wood dowel or something uh, similar and we're going to push from the inside to help create a relief. So if it's if it's sticky and melted, it's going to stick to your handle. It's going to make a mess. All right, so I'm going to kind of eyeball where this is on the outside here. And we're going to take our torch, just a propane torch. All right, I'm going to heat on the outside here. It takes quite a bit of heat. This will leave a scar on the shell. If you do it neatly, it's not too bad. Again, occasionally, just in the inside, not to where it melts. Let me just 
see if I'm anywhere close here. Taking my handle. Nope. We're going to heat some more here right on the outside. You do want to start checking it pretty regularly. See if you've gotten close. You don't want to overheat it beyond, much far beyond where you need it. Still need a little more. Getting there, not quite yet. pressure. I still think I might need to go a little further. It has come back a little bit. It's hard to see, but it has definitely punched out a little bit. Pushing with my hammer from the inside here. Kind of reminds me of the movie Alien, where you see the alien kind of punching through. But basically, I want to kind of hold pressure on that until and have someone cool it if possible, or just wait and kind of keep moving that around. All I'm doing here on the inside is just kind of pushing along that hole that I've, that circle that I've identified. And once that's cooled down, that's probably about a half an inch or three quarters at least of relief that I've just created there in that spot. We're getting there. Coming along. You could use like a baseball, softball, or something. Also, this wooden handle works pretty well. You know, it's not going to look perfect after you're done with this, but it's function over form in this case if you're trying to keep a shape working. So I think that got about a, a definitely at least a half an inch. Real, uh, maybe even three quarters right there. I'm just going to cool that down. Compressed air. Okay. Cool that down. It's got to cool pretty quickly. You, wanna, you don't want to let it sit there for too long. And you don't want to touch it because uh, it will leave fingerprints behind. But... Uh, once you've got that cool, it, it does take some time, so I'll make sure it's not too hot when you go to put this foam back on. Um, while that's cooling a little bit, the next step, if you couldn't get enough relief this way, you could cut a hole out right in the shell. As long as the hole isn't, say, as 
closer than one inch from the edge of the shell. You could just cut a little hole out right there in the, in the shell and that'll create your relief too uh, using a jigsaw. All right, it's getting pretty close. So now I can take my uh, tape off. Okay, all this leftover tape can be peeled away as well. I just need to glue that back down into the into my liner here. So 3M Super 77 works great. Um, just spray both sides of your the material and the foam. Want that to tack up for about 20-30 seconds. Okay, pretend it's been 30 seconds here. Look that down in there. Okay. Um, and now I just, this uh, can go back with some regular masking tape. A little about two inch pieces. We're just going to tape along the edge, right over the edge. And we're not rolling it over the top, it's just right along the back side of the foam and the plastic. Go all the way around where you've done your uh, modifications, you've cut away that tape. And then you'll be all set. You're good to go. We've got a relief in the back support, and uh, we're all set. If you have any for, uh, more questions, just give us a call here at Ride Designs or check out our website, ridedesigns.com. Thanks a lot. We appreciate your business.